guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a weekend vlog so right now i am actually going to get some breakfast and go to the store i have a game today and a game tomorrow so hopefully we win Okay, so last night I went to a football game and we played our rivals and we won. It was super fun. And then school, I already had a test for math. I got a B on it. That's pretty good. School's kind of boring. We haven't really done that much stuff. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get dressed. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but I'm just going to get dressed real quick and then I'll show you guys. Here's what I'm wearing. This super cute, like, crop sweatshirt and then just some shorts and then i don't know what shoes i'm wearing yet so we have to pick out the perfume for today i think i'm gonna wear the sweater weather bath and body works so i think we're about to go do some tiktoks before we leave and then go get some breakfast because i'm really hungry like really hungry i got up at like eight and it's nine at 39 I haven't eaten anything. All right, we made it out of the house and we're gonna stop here at Chick-fil-A first to get some breakfast. It's 10.15 and they quit serving breakfast at 10.30. So we're really cutting it close here to get uh, something and we're in line. So hopefully by the time we get up there, we're able to get our Chick-fil-A. This is the only breakfast that Braylon will eat. She does not like breakfast at all. She's not a breakfast eater, but she needs to get something in her stomach before her game. And so the only place for breakfast for her is Chick-fil-A. So on Sundays, we struggle trying to figure out where she's gonna eat breakfast because obviously Chick-fil-A is closed. Not only does she not like breakfast, but she will only eat one thing here for breakfast and that is a chicken breakfast sandwich, right? Chicken on a biscuit. Chicken on a biscuit. And they're hash browns. Oh, hash browns, yes. With ketchup. And you're gonna have to get ice water because she needs to get hydrated for her game. I'm so glad it's the weekend. This week has been so long. We've just been go, go, go. And I've been waiting for this weekend. Okay, Braylon's upset with me. She's embarrassed. I just did an embarrassing mom move. I had a conversation with the boy that was giving us our food because he lives in the same town as us. And last night our football team beat our rival for the first time in eight years. Five years. Eight years is what it was on the um, newspaper article this morning. Mm -hmm. So it was a huge deal. And the boy that was giving us our food, I just said big win last night for the school that we go to. And he just kind of looked at me and I was like, yeah, we're from the town that we're from. And he goes, oh yeah. And so Braylon's upset with me. She's like, I cannot believe you did that. It's not a big deal. I was just having a conversation. Look, it was a big deal. Everyone was going crazy last night because we won. First time in eight years. That is a big deal. That is a big deal. So, <laughs> that's a big deal? That's a big deal. That's what parents are supposed to do. We're supposed to embarrass our children. That wasn't even embarrassing. That was just, mom. That's like creepy. That wasn't creepy. Like, he's probably like, how the heck do I think who I am? Comment below, was that creepy? All right, we're gonna sit here and eat our Chick-fil-A in the um, grocery store parking lot. We're not at Target today, we're at the grocery store. I always get a bacon, egg, and cheese on an English muffin. And I was here like three or four days ago when they were out of English muffins. So I figured it's been three or four days, they would definitely have English muffins. No, they still don't have English muffins, so I had to get a biscuit. And I don't like, the biscuits. I love the English muffins. And of course, Braylon got her chicken biscuit with hash browns. We're actually going grocery shopping today because Braylon has a soccer game this afternoon at two o'clock, which it's a home game. So we don't have to go that far. But tomorrow, her game's not till five o'clock in the evening. And it's about an hour and a half away. And then she has school the next day. So we're not gonna have time to do our grocery shopping like we normally do on Sundays. So we're trying to get it done this morning before we have to leave for her soccer game this afternoon. Still shaking your head, reliving the moment a couple minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> if I was his age and someone said big win, how does this creeper know that I'm from the town we live in? Yeah. It was not that big of a deal. We live in a very small town. Very small town. Everybody knows everybody. She's getting all bent out of shape over nothing. She's going to hate me for the rest of the day now. I was like, told you not to say anything when we pulled up. Guys, we're in here at the grocery store and look at this. You want three musketeers? Yes, we can get some of those. 
Let's see what else they have. You can find the cutest things here at grocery stores. Look at these plates. I love getting plates and bowls for the season. And they have just like the cutest little decorations. What did you find now? High chews. You're gonna get a bag of high chews? You want the Three Musketeers too? Braylon goes crazy when they have the Halloween candy out. Oh, they have all their cereals out. Rice Krispies. Look at all these cute little things. The Reese's Back Cookie Mix, Brownie Mix, Captain Crunch, Frankenberries, Booberries. Oh my gosh, they have all of this stuff out. I love it. So we are back from the store and getting breakfast. So right now I have to get ready for soccer. It is 11.36 and we have to be out the door by 12. So I need to start getting ready. We're wearing all blue today. We're about 10 minutes from the soccer field. Braylon is back there getting her cleat shin guards and stuff like that on. This is only their second game of the season for their league play. Last weekend was their first game. They lost 5-0, sadly. So the girls were bummed and just really upset about losing their first game. I have a feeling that the girls are gonna win this game. Girls won 2-0, yay, so exciting. We just stopped at Rudder's, which is like a little convenience store for Braylon's finger. We're not really sure if it's jammed, if she sprained it, if it's fractured, broken, we're not really sure. But we stopped to get some ice for her to put her finger in. Um, if you missed it, re-watch and watch carefully. It's like just a couple minutes into the game, Braylon got tripped and the girl did get a foul called on her. but. Braylon came down on her hand and just kind of like, I'm not really sure yet what she did to her pinky. We stopped at Rudders to get the ice and then of course we got some snacks. I got an icy, Braylon's jealous because she can't have ices right after her game. Although I feel like she deserves it after the game that she played. She did have an assist, it was an amazing assist. She didn't get any goals this game, but that's okay. She played really, really well with her finger throbbing the whole entire time because it happened right in the beginning of the game. So and she ended up playing almost the whole whole game. You came out, what, twice? And I think both times were maybe just like for a couple minutes. But we're just gonna let the finger uh, stay on ice for a while, on and off for the rest of the night and just keep an eye on it. And then if it's still bothering her later on tonight or in the morning, we'll probably take her to urgent care and have them take a look at it because she does have a game tomorrow evening. So we need to get the finger wrapped or whatever needs to be done before she has the game. Thankfully, she doesn't need her hands for soccer so she can still play her game tomorrow. All right, we are back from soccer. Braylon is showered and her and Brianna are in Brianna's room and Braylon is going to try sushi for the very first time. And we wanna vlog this so you guys can get her reaction. So we got the California roll and we got the Philadelphia roll. The California roll has crab meat, cucumber, and avocado. And then the Philadelphia is the same exact thing, but then you add cream cheese into it. So Braylon, which one are you gonna try? Oh, the Philadelphia doesn't have the cucumber. It just has the avocado and then you add the cream cheese in. Okay. You're doing the California? Okay, so you're doing the one without the cream cheese. Gosh, I can't wait for this reaction. Why? What's it's gonna up? be? <laughs> I'm just eating. All right, do it, girl. Don't smell it. 
Why? It doesn't smell the best. It doesn't smell bad. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. We don't have any yum yum sauce, so she has to use soy sauce. It's good. Really? Mm hmm You like it. I cannot believe you like it. Look at her. She's going in for more. It's good. Here's what it looks like. We just got two trays of it at the grocery store. So Jordan is downstairs making some chicken fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli or something like that. So the girls are gonna have the sushi for their dinner, but possibly have a little bit of pasta as well. So I'm gonna leave them up here, let them have their little bonding time and eat their sushi. And I'm gonna go down and eat the dinner that Jordan made. Here we are driving through the sunflowers. They are really short. They're already facing down. I wonder why. So they only face up when the sun's out. They face down when the sun's not out. Yeah, but sunset is the best time to get pictures. It's the best time to get pictures, yeah, but this, they always don't, they always face towards the sun and the sun's not out. Oh, the sun's right there behind them. All right, there's still a good bit of people here, so hopefully we can get some good pictures. I don't know why the sunflowers are facing down tonight normally they're not like this during sunset we always come at sunset so we can get the pretty sun in the background but we're gonna go out here and see if we can get some good pictures we made our way into the sunflower field and we've been taking some pictures braylon just changed her outfit brianna just changed her outfit as you can see the sun is starting to set mm -hmm. and it is so pretty here there's just miles and miles of sunflowers here Trying to get anything done with you guys is impossible. Stop. These two are driving me crazy. You like me? You don't. You like me? You don't. Oh, none of your fans like you. Go. Let's get lost in the sunflower field. Look at all these, all over, all the way. It's crazy. Brianna, what are you doing? <laughs> I took a video of you doing that. <laughs> these girls, I swear there's something else. Not really sure what is going on with Braylon's finger, but it's still really bothering her. So now that we are done the photo shoot of my professional photo skills, not. We are going to go in here to CVS, try to find her a splint and some tape to get it taped together. And if it's still bothering her in the morning, I think I'm going to take her into urgent care to get them to look at it. So yeah, something like that is definitely going to be our best option. Cold pack. I think this one right here is going to be good for your pinky. It's too, it's too small. Well, what's this? Well, then instead of it being metal, it's oh, like a it's a fat soft. Fat. It's a medium and a large yeah, and this with is three stitches and one medium. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's you're going to get. That's what that get. means. A large yeah. is for a big finger and a medium yeah. is for a little. So do you want the soft casing or do you want finger. the metal casing? I think when she gets it on there, it's going to be fine. Don't grab okay, a hold of it. Your, it hurts her. Then. Yeah, that's going to fit. Yeah. So do you want the soft casing or do you want the metal casing? Yeah, probably that one. And then we need tape to tape it. Soft and stretch tape. It's just what they say that you should do. Just tape it together. It helps keep it more secure. Flex it through your body, strong hold oh power. God. Yeah, I would get that and then get this right here. Brianna's doctoring her up here in the CVS parking lot. <laughs> so we put the large splint on because it hurts really bad way down here. So that way it was far enough down on the finger and then we're taping it together. Where are we headed to next? It is what time? What time is it? 7.40. Okay, it's 7.40. Brianna needs to go to Target. So we are gonna go to Target, like always. Every day of our life, we go to Target. I need a couple things at Target too, so that's fine. You guys both need deodorant, so get a double pack of that. Yeah, she uses that. So you got toothpaste, deodorant. <laughs> oh, here goes the fighting. All right, so you got deodorant, toothpaste. Braylon decided not to get Starbucks because she has a soccer game tomorrow. What else we need? We need bread. We need bread. Brie, I think it's over where the um, Halloween stuff is. The cereal you're looking for? The Pretty Halloween Pebbles cereal? With, no. Pretty, Pretty Pebbles, Pebbles with marshmallows? Oh, I thought she was looking for the Halloween. Oh, look at this. They have strawberry milkshake frosted flakes now. And cinnamon toast crunch. 
Wow, where have I been? All right, so they don't have Fruity Pebbles with marshmallows here? <clears throat> no, but I want Fruity Pebbles. All right, we'll get with some. Marsh Wait, I don't mean with marshmallows. <laughs> oh, look, they knew, look, they have tricks with uh, marshmallows now, too. Yeah, and they have fruit. I want these. Oh, they have everything. everything okay. is better with marshmallows. Go ahead, you can get tricks. <clears throat> Do you want them with marshmallows? Yeah, let me get it. Okay. I'll eat this. I like the dinosaur cereal. one. Oh, AJ, I'll be so excited about I that. I love my gooey one marshmallow. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know about you. Favorite cereal used hurts. to be these. All right, let's get going. Her finger hurts. All right, is there anything specific you're looking for? Or are you just looking? You know how she is with her makeup aisle. Look at her just carrying around a box of tricks cereal. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wrap up the night at Chick Fil A. I don't know why the girls just had sushi, but they felt like they needed more to eat. I got a strawberry milkshake. So I'm an endless Braylon friend. got fries and Brianna got a sandwich. It's probably not good to eat now that I'm thinking about uh, it. You'll be fine. And it's, I also got a water. Yeah, and she got ice water. It's fine. It's eight o'clock at night. Your game is not till five o'clock tomorrow evening, almost 24 hours from now. She's good. So we're gonna head home. We are gonna go to bed. And then we will see you guys in the morning when we're heading over to Urgent Care to get her finger x-rayed. All right, good morning. It is Sunday morning. I am up and ready. It's kind of early, so Braylon is getting herself ready right now, and we are going to head over to Urgent Care. Her finger is still pretty swollen and bruised, and she's still complaining that it's hurting. So we're going to take her over and get it x-rayed and um, see what the results are for that. And we will let you guys know as soon as we are done. All right, so Braylon is ready. Well, Braylon's got glitter from her makeup. But anyway, if you guys can see here how it's really swollen and bruised, and you can really tell right here on the knuckle especially and down in here how swollen and red and bruised it is. This is where she's having most of her pain. We are back from urgent care. Braylon is sitting here trying to get hydrated and uh, get some food in her system for her game. So basically what they said, the swelling is really bad. So they weren't able to really tell if there's a hairline fracture or not, but we definitely know that it is not broken. So right now they're just saying that it's a sprain and if it's still swollen and hurting in the next week to bring her back so they can do another x-ray once the swelling goes down to see if there is a hairline fracture. She can play soccer today. And the only thing is she only needs to wear the splint if she's playing soccer. He doesn't want her to have the splint one. Um, during the day, he wants her to try to do some um, exercises, try to like get a tennis ball and just kind of like squeeze it a couple times throughout the day. Also, she needs to ice it on and off throughout the day. And um, but if she's playing soccer, she definitely needs to have that splint on and she needs to wrap it with the tape. So here she is. She has some carrots with some ranch and cucumber. You mean? Or yeah, cucumbers with some ranch and a orange and some puffin corn. She's getting some hydrate. What are those things called again? Bio steel. Bio steel. This is something new that she just found that she it started. Has electrolytes and it helps you. You're supposed to drink these sixty minutes before the game. Sixty minutes before the game, and your game's at five, and it's like what time? Twelve o'clock. <laughs> and then she has a bottle of water that she's trying to get hydrated. So Three we're minutes, moms watching dance moms on YouTube and we will head down the road. We are headed to Baltimore, which is an hour and a half from us around somewhere around there. So then that'll give her plenty of time to rest and stuff. So Braylon's been laying down, kind of resting, trying to get, um, her finger to feel a little bit better before this game tonight. So I've got to go in and make sure she is up and getting ready. Okay. So she is actually getting ready. Brianna's in here helping her pick out her outfit for tomorrow. So she's dressed. She just needs to get her hair pulled up. Brianna's over there helping, trying to figure out what she is going to wear to school tomorrow. And I think tomorrow is supposed to be like in the high seventies, low eighties. So probably a t-shirt. You can take a sweatshirt if you get cold in class but anyway so i'm gonna help her put her hair up she likes when i do it because oh, it stays up better shirt? oh yeah you haven't worn your new uh it's a crop. crop yeah but don't you have your high... but i put that zip up shirt your zip up jacket everybody always asks you what this stuff is this I stuff show is it called i know but a lot of times people don't watch all the videos this is called pattern and you can find it at alta mm -hmm. or is this at or alta amazon. or amazon and the brush comes with it and no, it helps. doesn't. You have to pay, pay yeah, for it. Oh, but it's the same brand. It's still pattern brand, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so it's the brush and then this you have gel. You buy the brush. But okay, separate. Does it make your hair feel so, like hairspray? This is how. No. 
No, it actually doesn't make her hair hard at all. But that helps keep all the flyaways. And then she will put her pre-wrap on and then we've got to head out the door. Oh. Oh. So the game is over. Braylon, what was the score? 4-0. 4-0. Braylon scored a goal and then two other girls on her team scored and then the other team scored for us. So we won 4-0. We are starving. So we are down here in Baltimore. We're going to get some seafood and then we got to head home. Braylon has school tomorrow and as you can see it's already starting to get a little dark. <laughs>